In the field of advanced GPS applications, one big issue is represented by data collection and use related with the right of privacy. How can the problem be solved? Privacy is an issue whenever persons, travelers for example, in transportation are being uh, tracked. And to, to repeat, to give a background, normally there are two ways to, to determine the position of, uh, of somebody of, or, or of an object. One method is called uh, self-positioning. In these technologies, GPS is one of them. Uh, the position is calculated in the mobile device that uh, the person is holding. In this case, he has the position in his device, and he's the one who decides to give it away or not. He owns the position information. He has the full control of, of uh, releasing it or not. This is, uh, in this case, uh, privacy is less critical. It becomes critical if some remote entity is getting the information, is calculating it, it is called remote positioning, and it is using it or archiving it. In this case, at times, the user doesn't have the control of this, all this process, and that becomes critical. There are regulations on this front, what has to, has to be done. One solution is that uh, consent of the users is needed. He has to, to agree in some form of contract of releasing or archiving this position information. In the field of GPS research, what are the frontiers and the next problems that should be addressed worldwide? Uh, one, one issue is, of course, uh, the quality improvement of this information. And uh, a key challenge today is uh, in, in urban areas and COVID areas. In these areas, the availability is not good enough. And uh, a challenge is, of course, to try to, to increase the quality on that front. And uh, one solution is, of course, uh, in combining GPS with other technologies. And Galileo or these other uh, systems that will come will increase the number of satellites and devices that are capable of using the signals from all the available systems will be capable of producing uh, more robust positioning uh, data. GPS technologies, how's about the world ranking and the leading countries? I, I guess actually America is uh, in the front. Yeah? And, and the Russians, they are ahead. Europe has had a small problem of delaying Galileo. And they have lost some years, and this may be a problem. And also, as we have, we, have, we have heard today, developing solutions using Galileo systems is not advanced enough. The in, we, in Europe, the, the amount of investment for research in this area is not good enough, it's not high enough compared to America. America, they invest 10 times more money, uh, government push, or, or yeah, incitations. That is a problem, of course. Uh, some countries are more aggressive. I guess China may be a serious uh, competitor, but the good news for Europe is that the other countries who don't have a, a, a good system yet, they want to compete with uh, Galileo. This is a good policy, I guess. This may help Europe to be at least as equal as the Americans on that area by cooperating with other countries like China, India, Africa. So these countries will uh, be developing or implementing in their countries these uh, augmentation systems for Galileo. And this may give Galileo, of course, a good uh, position. How important is the interoperability issue in developing GPS technologies and making them popular? It is a key issue. It is very important and for the market penetration, very important. You must ensure that the devices, the old devices will be using the, the new system. And also what is important is that you can support all the available uh, satellite-based navigation technologies. It is, it is traditionally important in their operability. On that front, you, you cannot make a mistake. Then otherwise you will be dead and out of the market. <laughs>